Hello, welcome to Borgens with Neuromas. I'm Joseph, and it's time to go back into Gloomhaven once again. And I'm ready to get started here. And yeah, I have my little banner rolling here for the patrons. So go check that out. Patreon.com slash BGW Neuromas. You can support the channel and help out to create more videos like this, of course. So anyhow, let's get straight into the game. I am going to now head for that boss, the boss dungeon. Uh, thanks to one of the viewers last time. I do know where to go now. I didn't understand that at first, but now I know where to go, which way to go at least. I'm not really sure how we get there, but we are going to go in that direction and hopefully get the, you know, I can show you here. So down all the way on the other side of the map, here's the boss dungeon, obviously, which will probably be really hard. But anyhow, we are going to try it. So we're going to head in the east direction now. Let's just see here. Have my stuff uh, equipped there, and yeah, let's start going east, so start a new journey. And we're heading over to the Osing Depths, I guess we've been there before, I think these are sort of random, I'm not sure if these are randomly generated or if the Osing Depths always is in this place, <laughs> I'm not really sure. But I'm excited to find some other cities, some other towns, so that we can buy some new uh, equipment and so on. Because so far it's just been the same uh, stuff all over the place. Let's see, okay, so I'm going to start by... Uh, I think we're going to try to take out the cultist because these can be really annoying, they summon stuff. I kind of want to... Let's see, it's kind of far away, I could go like one, two... Huh. Oh yeah, I can start there. Okay, that's great. That is great. I forgot about that. You can choose where you start, of course. I think we will have to go for a spare dagger since it's ranged. Also, one of you guys in the chat in the uh, comments on the last video uh, gave me the tip that I should go for these XP cards, the cards that give XP so I can level up faster. That's really really smart, you know, tip actually. Um, so she would probably just move and do the fire orbs, that's sort of my standard move in the beginning of dungeons. Okay, so they're going to move to attack one and they're going to move one. So let's try to keep out of the way of these because they attack pretty heavy there with attack three. That is nasty, I want to avoid that. So, let's see, uh, move two, oh, this is a trap. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try something. I read in the FAQ, they released an FAQ that you could... Yeah, okay, so if you press the tab button, then you will highlight stuff like this. The enemies and the traps, so it's easier to see where the traps are. Uh, you do see it when you move, but anyway. And that FAQ was pretty good. Uh, I was a bit surprised because they did tell us in the FAQ that the... Uh, the early access is, is uh, you know, they're, they're suspecting, they're like planning for it to last for um, 9 to 12 months, which is a long time. A uh, really long time. I thought it was going to be released a lot quicker than that, like the full version. But I really look forward to that, because then we will get the actual campaign from the board game. That's going to be awesome. There we go. Good hitting now. Plus one, like that. Good job, Spellweaver. We'll see if the... Uh, yeah, okay, he can't reach us. That's perfect. He couldn't go go all the way. He couldn't reach us. Uh, hey, Jay, Botero. Yeah, it, it is 2 a.m. in Sweden, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm up late, but I did get some sleep during the evening, and then I've been away at a friend's house, and we played some um, Feast for Odin with the Norwegians expansion. That was fun. Uh, I thought that expansion was really cool. It's uh, it adds a lot of fun stuff to that game. It's already a good game, the base game, but with the uh, with the Norwegian's expansion, you get a whole lot of fun stuff. And yeah, it didn't go that well for me, but I had a lot of fun. It's there's so much to do in that game. You can like, I think there's like 60 different worker placement spots you can go through. So it's crazy. Oh no 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 worry. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm amazed that you. Uh, that you even know the time difference there, but I think right now during summer, I think we are one more hour ahead of uh, because of summertime, we're one more hour ahead of like uh, the US. 
Because I assume you live in the US, right? So you have... What is it for you? Is it like uh, 8 o'clock or something? Let's do that. And... Let's see. But I, am, I mean, I am trying to, you know, not sit up all nights and make videos and play and so on because that, you know, uh, that messes up my brain sort of. So it is more healthy, I think, to play games during the day. Let's see, three. We could go back there. And from here I can do this one, which is really good. There's also two XP, so that's a good thing as well. Talking about that XP gaining is really good. Oh, you're on the west coast. Oh, it's 5 p.m. Okay. Wow, that's the time reference. What is that? Nine hours. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of Americans uh, are educated. Uh, I know that it's also like a sort of, uh, you know, often a joke about Americans and not, uh, you know, uh, knowing about the rest of the world, which is kind of crazy, of course, because that's generalizing, of course. So, let's see. I mean, I could do the, I could do the, no, let's just move an attack. We could be pushing here, actually, because there is a trap over there. If that guy dies, of course. Otherwise, we would need a jump. We don't have a jump effect right now. So, there we go. Oh, now the cultist is going to summon. Oh, I hate that. Is there, uh, there is a small chance that he, we could actually kill him. Well, actually, if we push him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I push him, then he will... Then he will die because he will take two damage. I don't think that damage is blockable, which is awesome. Yeah, it's not random. You always get the two damage from the. Let's see, what are they doing? Move one, attack three. Okay, that's pretty nasty. They they are going to. Ouch. Okay, but I could stun him with the hammer, of course. I don't know. Maybe that's like overkill using the hammer already. I guess it's better to save that for later. Uh, okay, so they are going to hit him quite hard here two times and okay Well, he, he can take it. He's the brute He's supposed to take the damage right and you know, we can heal him if need be as well. I could actually heal him right now. I Don't think I want to heal him right now. I Think I'm just gonna do this. I mean, it's not doing much if he's doing melee attacks. That's not really her thing, but that's minus two. So yeah, she just tapped him basically. <laughs> Nothing happened. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I I guess like uh, it goes both ways, or like cultural wise. Like in Sweden, we I think we tend to uh, know a lot about the U.S. because we do like watch a lot of movies and we. Uh, you know, listen to music. We do a lot of culture stuff from America, basically. But on the on the other hand, I don't think we know that much at all about like Asia or, or Africa and so on. So, okay, so let's do. Could attack both of them using this one, and then we could maybe run a little bit like that. They're going to move, attack, wow, attack for four, that is terrible. So maybe it's a good idea to just, hmm. I mean, I can't kill both of them. I could maybe with the attack five, actually, that's really good. And if we do this, that's adding one to the attack. So this is an attack six. There is a little chance here that I could take out this guy. Let's try. Ah, we actually did it. Nice. That is really good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I think uh, I, I suppose that like in, in in US, which makes sense, you, you learn a lot about the different states and all that because, you know, it's such a big country. 
Okay, so pick up some gold here is always good. Not that I know what to do with all the gold. We have a bunch of gold now. I hope that we can find some good store for some like items, armor and such. And now it's time for a short rest here. And I don't want to burn that one, so let's redraw. Okay. Well, this, oh, this is never a good card to burn, really, because you do want all those cards, but... So now I think we'll do the move and stun, and maybe use the boots, even, and the ranged attack. We never know what's in the next room, so... And I guess we could do a... Huh. Let's do a attack there and a move. Yeah, because, yeah, that, that should work out, right? Because we do have that one in the Discord. You gotta be careful with the spell, we were... So we don't kill her accidentally. I've done that a few times. That I didn't really think things through, and then all of a sudden her cards ran out, and I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, so here we have... I like how the camera just, you know, removes the walls really nicely here. That works well in this game. So these guys are gonna move one, so they're just gonna be over there. So she can go here without a problem, but then she has to range three. Oh, she needs to go there if she's gonna shoot the cultist, which I do like her to do. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I love I love the internet, man. Uh, I think it's... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in the internet as well, but... And that's the thing, like, uh, I do a lot of Swedes uh, usually ask me, uh, when we talk about my channel, a lot of Swedes ask me why didn't why did I why I do my channel in English? Uh, why didn't I go for a Swedish channel? Because you know if it's like families or kids and so on, they want to watch uh, videos about board games and people. And this there isn't really a Swedish channel that do, that does uh, how to play videos or, or uh, run throughs. And my, I always answer the, that question with that: if I did that, then I would have. Well, sort of. I, you know, I would miss the whole element of of being able to to talk to people from all over the world, and and especially like uh, once in a while, I do get like an email from from someone. It could be someone in Vietnam or or like Iran or something, uh, and that's just so cool uh, in my opinion. I mean, it's so cool that people around the world are watching and can understand the videos and and tag along. Uh, that's just such a, so such a cool uh, <laughs> cool thing about the internet, of course, as you say there. Makes the world smaller, which is a good thing. Uh, do I want to push him? I guess I can push him over here. He is going to move three, so it doesn't matter. He's just going to move back here. Oh, he, oh yeah, he's going to hit the spell weaver, but that's okay. Uh, wasn't too bad there. Yeah, well, I mean, it's about the school. Like, uh, I guess, I guess back, you know, back in the days in Sweden, you uh, you uh, didn't, you know, like a hundred years ago, it was the German that was the dominant language in in Europe. But I mean, since like I don't know, seventy years after the war, basically all Swedes learn English in school. So it's like natural. And and, and again, we we do watch a lot of like. Uh, you know, American and, and British and so on, uh, TV and all that. So it's kind of natural, especially, I mean, speaking English is one thing, but it's always easier to understand another language uh, than your mother tongue. So like when I watch, like if I watch a playthrough, I don't even, uh, it, it doesn't even hit me that I'm I'm listening to English. It's so natural to me. Should we heal? I don't know. I think I think she's actually going to heal here. Because they are coming this way. Uh, not now, but they are going to hit her sooner or later here. Uh, let's hit this guy. It's not good to shoot him when you stand next to him because you do get disadvantage. Which means you basically draw two cards for the you know the attack modifier. And then you have to choose the, the worst one. But it worked out fine here. So let's move. 
And I did that wrong. Wow, I should I should have used this one first because now I have to skip this movement. That wasn't good. Okay, let's see. I like these enemies. I mean, they are really strong, but they are moving so slowly that you can you can really uh, plan for how to deal with them. There is a trap there. One, two, three, four. We could, yeah, I could do this with the boots, I guess. But not that many enemies left. You can see that on the meter. <laughs> yeah, I try. I tend to. I try to not do that many videos in Swedish because I do know that. I understand that you know if you don't speak Swedish, you're just gonna, uh, you know, click away, uh, which is not good. <laughs> so. But there's sometimes I do uh, videos of Swedish games, like you know, and then it makes sense to to speak Swedish in those. So let's do that and attack. Oh, minus two! Wow, and I was stupid. I shouldn't have. <laughs> I shouldn't have moved up here because now I can't do this attack. Wow, I didn't think that through. Um, yeah, so they are gonna move attack. Okay. I hope they don't kill the ally. No, they're hitting the Spellweaver. I actually prefer that in this situation because I don't want, you know, the ally is such an investment to get her out there. And she's doing good work. I mean, that was good. Hitting him there. And let's see, you need to move. Yeah, I need to move first. So let's go up there. Then we do this attack here on him. Ugh. I'm getting unlucky with the I'm getting unlucky with the modifiers, or at least it feels that way. Uh, I don't know. Let's redraw. Okay. So we have something strong here to just take this guy. Well, we could we could disarm him. That's good. And do a double attack. That's that's nice. She has to do these two. Sadly, she she's going out of court so quickly. So that's an issue. That's a good one. And let's disarm him. So now he's not going to do the attack five. <laughs> that's terrible, attack five. Okay, there goes the ally. Nothing we can do about it. I think if you time the spell weaver well, then you can like save the card that brings the cards back, whatever that's called, reviving something. That would be a good idea. You can save that one. Okay, so let's heal him up because he's the one that's gonna have to finish the last room on his own, I think. And that's that's how it's going to go. And I don't want to waste this card, so let's just skip that attack. Because he's already he's gonna die. Well, he's, yeah, he's already dead. If we get lucky, he might kill himself. But because they have a bunch of cards that are like, they do something and then they take a damage. So, so let's see. I think we're gonna have to. Could shield there and maybe attack using this one. And wow, okay, she's gonna die. I didn't realize that. Wow. Okay, let's have a long rest. Because there is a okay, move one, attack three. There is a chance when when she long rests, she stands around for one more turn. And there's always a chance that they go and hit her. <laughs> Kinda of terrible, but we can sort of sacrifice her. And he's gonna do a normal attack here. And that's a crit when we don't need it. And then he can move up here and yeah she's done for sadly nothing we can do about it I think I'm gonna try to go late now with the brute so hopefully this guy can catch up so like 86. Yeah, he's going first. 
And oh, okay, he didn't attack. Uh. Well, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in here. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that guy because he's probably going to die anyway by himself, so uh, like by his own. Let's go over here. Oh, we can actually go there and we can stun both of these. That's perfect. And then we can do an attack on the cultists. I want the cultists to die uh, before they summon too much. They are going to summon living bones though. Okay. We have to short rest again. And let's burn that. And we do have like a few turns here, so it is possible that we, I mean, could make this perhaps. But it's not gonna be easy. Could do a. Could do a really strong attack on that guy. That could be good actually. And the shield there, yeah, okay. Okay. So let's hope for the best. Let's do a uh, scroll of healing and then do a strong attack on this guy here. Let's hope we get a plus one. Yes, we did. Nice. That is so important to just take him out. And the shield there. This guy is coming slowly. I think the main issue now is the cards, like if the cards run out or not. We can do a double attack though, so that's good. So let's attack here. Because he is going to summon, so if we can get him down to. Uh, you know, kill him or getting down low. No. Because then he takes two damage when he summons, so. Oh, this is going to be close. <laughs> this is gonna be close if we're gonna make it or not. Especially with that summon, that's terrible. I hate the cultist. Ah, so annoying. Okay, so short rest. And yeah, let's redraw. Yeah, so we get two more turns, right? Oh no, this, okay, he's going to heal himself, right? Yeah, that's good. It's good that he didn't heal the cultist. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's, I mean, it's kind of funny when you think about it. We used to raid England together. Okay, so there we go. And let's attack this guy. Plus one, that's good. So there's still some hope, but it's not looking good. Now, yeah, he killed himself. Okay, so that's good. No, we ran out of cards. Yeah, of course. Wow, got close, but I mean, this wasn't easy. This was supposed to be an easy map. But yeah, that didn't go too well. Okay, well. Let's just keep heading south then. Let's try this one. I mean, this game is hard. I am playing on the normal difficulty, which is like the uh, easiest one. It's normal, hard, and insane. So, well, there's quick games. I mean, even if we we lose, we that's just like 20 minutes so far. So let's see, bandits. Um. Oh, that's a bandit called Elite with a shield, okay. So let's start there with him, and I guess we start there. And I am going to, this time I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the trample right away. Try to go all in and just take out this room as quickly as possible. So let's do Icy Blast. And what else? She, she doesn't have any, she just has a bunch of 
moves basically on the lower part of the cards. It would be nice to get some. It would be nice to get some other cards with her. Oh hey Buster. Oh yeah, the the board game is perhaps even harder. It's 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 uh, especially in the beginning for some reason. It, it's like it gets easier after a while, but it's really really hard in the beginning. I I mean I like a challenge, but uh, the board game I actually played on easy because I just wanted to experience the adventure. I don't want to keep doing the same mission over and over and over. That's boring, especially in the board game. We have to do all the upkeep yourself, all the fiddly stuff. Uh, put the pieces up and all that, so. It's always hard in this game, like if you're going, I mean you have, I mean she can get her stuff back once, but uh, like for the brute, he has his really strong stuff, like the trample. So are you going to use that the first thing you do, or are you going to, like this one, attack four and stun, that's really good. Should I use that, or should I save it for later? So it's hard to know, especially since you don't really know. I mean, you know sort of what's coming, because you can see what kind of enemies there are in the dungeon, but you don't know if, if one is going to be elite and so on. That's true, I mean, yeah, it should be hard in... When you're playing solo games, it should, it should be hard. In co op games. We're gonna just try to take this guy out as quickly as possible. And stun him as well. I think we're gonna move her away so that she can pick up. Is that a chest? I think so. It's so hard to tell. Uh, but especially get her out of there so that she doesn't get the disadvantage on the attack. Oh, perfect. Okay. So let's have him let's see, move three. And then have that one. If she can move for eight and have that attack there, so you just uh, rush in here. And okay, well, that's a lot of enemies. I think I go for the archer first. Stun him right away because they have some really annoying stuff with immobilize and all that. That can really ruin it for you. Wow, so many archers in here. Oh, just taking all that damage. Ah, we can heal him. So. Okay, so where should she move so she can hit like a lot of them at the same time? If she can move over there. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of want to, can I somehow get over to the, could move and stun actually. And maybe try to, hmm, one, two, three, four, I can't push them. I think I'll just do like a normal attack on them this time. And she will summon, I guess.
So like if I move over there, but not that way. Uh, then I can stun both of these archers, that's good. Then he can do a normal attack. You need to do some of these normal attacks and moves so you don't burn out on cards. It's actually kind of good that you hit her now. Because he can't take much more. But then, oh, the strength in himself as well. That is terrible because he gets advantage. Let's see, I think we... She, oh yeah, she could heal. So let's have her move over there. And not summon, instead she goes and heal him, so... So attack and push, and... Move and push. Oh yeah, we could push them into the traps there, that's good. And let's see, I guess she short rests. And... We gotta get rid of that. And she could, now she could summon actually. So he's shielding himself, not doing anything else, that's good. So let's have her attack. That's a crit. And then summon over here. Uh, the white rectangle with the red line. Uh, I think you mean the one where you like you burn the card. So, uh, if, you, if that's that's the thing you mean, that's like burning the card. So it's it's out of your it's out of your deck. Uh, let's see. Let's have him attack here and then push right into the trap. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so now we have... Let's see, is this the final room? It looks like it, yeah. So it's those two guys. So you can move and push. I wish we had the boots now, but we already used those. So let's have him heal at least. And use this. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm not really sure what you mean there. So, why can't I move with him now? Did it... Huh. Wow. Is there a bug? Oh, come on, this was going so well, this adventure. No. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, game. No. Wow. I don't even know if I have it saved or I think it's saved. We have to go to the main menu. All progress. Can I click? He's stuck. Ah, oh, so annoying. There's some there's some bug going on with when you use the scroll of healing. It ha like happened earlier as well. So we're gonna have to go to the main menu. I'm not really sure when the save was. Let's see. Continue. Okay, now that <laughs> the information about multiplayer gets stuck there. But it seems like we're at least in the same room. Wow, that's so weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's stuck there. And we're back to... Okay, so we're back to like choosing cards. She was short resting, right? And let's see, do we want to... Yeah, okay, we can... Yeah, we can burn that, I guess. 
Because we are going to pick up the cards again. And she has to do it now, right? Oh, she can discard two cards and then burn one. As long as she doesn't use a card that is out. So she could do a move and attack everyone adjacent, I guess. Yeah, it's it's in early access. I don't know. It's not in. I don't know, like beta. If, I, I guess this is alpha, basically. Uh, I'm not pretty sure how that counts. Okay, so instead, let's now we're doing something else. Let's have her go down here and then attack this guy. She crits, so nice. Okay, so now, oh, now I can push both of them actually. Okay, so let's attack this guy or girl and push there. This is even better because now we can move there and skip movement and push into both of these traps. Wow, that's perfect. Look at that. And let's try to heal and hope he doesn't bug out. I'm not gonna use... Well, I should use the scroll of healing. Let's see if it works now. Oh yeah, that's true. So this is beta basically. Okay. So he has to short rest here. That was perfect use of the traps there. And he needs to run a little bit. So we could do something like let's see these two. And when she short rests here. Now she has to pick up the cards, yeah. So he could move here. Oh, it's actually a bench in the way, so he's not going to be able to get over to this archer. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Okay, so she's picking up her cards. And then she can move. So let's have her move over here so that she doesn't take the hits that's coming now. Or a provoking roar. Oh, that thing, the, the white thing with the red, that's like um, an ongoing effect. So like if he uses his provoking roar, then during that turn, uh, that text will happen. So it's like an ongoing effect. Same, It's the same thing with his, uh, what's that, this one, add plus one attack during this uh, round. So that's an ongoing effect. And that, oh, that window there is annoying, but okay. Let's see, I think we can do this now. Um, yeah. And she can... Let's see, she has a... Uh, she can move and fire orb them, probably. She could heal. I don't think she would need to heal now, but let's heal him. Just to be sure. And then she can attack. She can use this. Oh, the wand. Oh, that didn't matter. Uh, so this guy and this guy. And he can move three. And then just... Nice! I think that's a win, right? If 
Finally a win. <laughs> so we move on the map. I, I w really want to get down there to the uh, to that uh, boss, in, you know, sooner or later. Which one do we choose here? Uh, let's go for Living Corpse Bone Ranger. And, oh, there's so many, a lot of archers here. An encounter, okay. You can take a drink. A flask lying in the road, clearly dropped by some clumsy adventurer. You're <laughs> just gonna drink something? That's okay, let's let's try it. Okay, nothing happened. Okay. You know, I'm gonna try to go to the main menu, see if we can get that multiplayer thingy out of there. Because it's kinda annoys me. Let's see, main menu. Like that, adventure, continue, should work. There we go. Okay, let's have him move, let's have him start there, and she can start over there. So she will move and fire orb. And he needs to move three, probably. So... Let's have him do... A disarm is always good. I like that. This cultist is an elite. He's going to move an attack, so let's disarm him. And she will move there, because from here she has three range to everyone. Nice. Good, good job, Spellweaver. What? Oh, he had, oh yeah, yeah, he had like a fire arrow, so everybody next to the target took a damage. <laughs> so that killed the cultist. I didn't understand what happened first. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Two. You could have him do a ranged attack, maybe? Like a shield and a ranged attack. She could do a attack there and then move so he's going ranged here and I'm gonna skip the shield because I don't think we need it I think there's a good chance that this will take care of this guy there we go Okay, so first room went well, at least. And let's see, we're gonna head into the next one. I think we're gonna do the stun here. Together with that. And she's going to have, have her Icy Blast and Ride the Wind. I need to remember that she can go uh, invisible if need be once, so that could help. So I think we'll get her up all the way up there. Because it looks like this is the last room, it's a small dungeon. And then she can do her attack like that with the boost from the power potion. And then she's going to use her cloak. So that they don't see her. Perfect. And the treasure chest, more gold. I still don't know what to do with, but 
sooner or later we'll have a use for it. Okay, so you could do a normal move now actually. And then move and attack. I could do that. Oh, I can push the guy into the trap as well. That's perfect. Okay, so let's add plus one to his attack. Now this is the ongoing here. So now this is an attack four actually. Then plus the... Oh, there's a crit even. Okay, we don't even need to push him. Nice. It's weird. I, I had such a struggle and all of a sudden things are going really nicely. But now he got immobilized. So that's, that's not good. Uh. Okay. So we're going to have her just do a normal attack here. Didn't do much, then summon. And let's see, move and push is good. Yeah, that's good. She will short rest. That. I love that ally just getting one more attack it's so nice so I think we'll have her move there and attack because now she can pick up her cards on the next turn Yeah, the traps are hidden, but you can press tab, uh, and then you see it like this, it highlights. I uh, just learned that just recently here from the uh, FAQ that they put out on, on like the Steam page. That's kind of helpful. Um, are we bugging out again? Yep. Well, well, you know, can't really complain because it is, it is what it is, but I'm just trying stuff out here to see if it can unbug itself. But when I press the move, there's no way to, for him to move. Uh, so we're just going to skip his turn basically, so <laughs> maybe it fixes itself. Could go to the main menu, but then we'd lose progress, so... Mm, spare dagger and... Move and push, if that works, <laughs> we'll see. And now she has to short rest. And do the picking up of cards. There. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, yeah, he was immobilized. That's why he couldn't move. Thank you, Buster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so it wasn't a bug. Okay, I'm, I'm maybe I'm too quick to, <laughs> to assume uh, there's bugs all around. But that's true. That's true. He couldn't move. So, well, he wasn't stunned basically. Then he couldn't have attacked either. But he was immobilized. Yeah. Ah, it's good that you guys uh, are, <laughs> are on it. So... Wait, let's shoot first and see if that is enough to take this guy out. Unless we miss, there we go. So then we know like where to go with the move here. Then we know that we're gonna go this direction. We can actually use the boots as well because this is not much left of the uh, adventure here. We can push this guy, but we can't push him. No, we're not gonna push him then. Uh, 
Yeah, it's much easier when you're watching, of course. Okay, so this should work out well here. We can do a... Let's see, we can move... Yeah, now we can use the trample, actually. And then that. And she will... Attack and... Yeah, she will just attack, basically. So, attack three. And she can just move over here to the gold, I guess. He can do his uh, trample. There we go. It's kind of, um, yeah. All of a sudden it feels much easier. But well, I am doing uh, the easy mission, right? Skip attack. That's the first time in a long while that they both survived. <laughs> Usually she dies because he runs out of cards, but... Okay, so now we made it to the abandoned farm. Completed that journey. 12 XP and a major power potion. That's good. Oh, and winged shoes. That makes me happy because she hasn't had any shoes for a while. She had winged shoes earlier, but yeah, she lost them. It's good for her to be able to jump all the time. And also, I do want that major power potion instead of a minor equipped. And he could get the um, he could get the other, the minor, I guess. Uh, but wait, did, was there a shop here? Uh, there's no shop in here. Okay, but she did level up here. So that's good. So let's see, hardened spikes. Hmm. I like this one. I always like to have like a target too, so she can attack multiple targets. <laughs> uh, that's it. Yeah, the items lose durability if you take them into dungeon and don't use them. Yeah, I think they always lose durability when you finish a journey, which is kind of weird from a gloomhaven perspective because that's a new thing didn't exist in the board game but yeah i think this one is kind of nice uh on your next four attacks add plus one attack and if you have wind you add plus two attack instead and we do have wind a lot of times and she can move and retaliate if she has fire in the air i think we're gonna do this crackling air here uh, it also has a low number and let's see which, what is it this makes fire. What makes wind? We usually have wind. Um, oh, ride wind, of course, makes wind. Then she can do ride wind, get wind in the air, and then use that wind to do the crackling air. So that's good. So what do we remove? That's always the hard question. So hard to remove something. Um, I don't want to remove the heal. I don't want to remove the ally, of course. I guess we have to remove this one. This is a single target attack for three. I'd rather have this a area of effects thingies and that's yeah. So flashing burst, okay. Do that. You can always change back later if you want to. <laughs> okay, so we're heading down towards the bandit camp or whatever it is the hideout over there which means we probably should do this hard one down here to get in that direction or go to the logging camp but i i'm gonna try the hard one because it looks more like it's in the right direction for the mission but of course we have to complete it as well otherwise we don't get there anyhow <laughs> so this could be tricky don't think I have completed any hard journeys so far. But then again, we just leveled up, right? So maybe, maybe, maybe. Gonna have to play smart, I guess. Uh, happily, I have you guys in the chat helping me out. 
Exactly, I would like to see all the routes on the map and so on. I so look forward to the uh, the whole, you know, normal campaign mode. That's going to be awesome. Okay, so let's have him start there. She can start there. What do we go for? This is an elite guy. Oh, it's not. It's a normal living corpse, but it's the hard one, I guess. So let's see if she will. She could do a fire orbs, I guess, if she moves three. Yeah, I guess so. So here she can move three and do the fire orb. He's gonna go for the cultist, I think, because they are annoying. So let's do the. Mm, this one and that one. Uh, okay, he's not gonna summon now at least. That guy's shielding himself, so let's not attack him this round because he's, you know, shielded anyway. So there we go, he gets plus one. And we're going to do the move. Let's see, what are they going to do? Move two. But he's not going to attack. He's just going to curse us, which is <laughs> annoying. But uh, for those of you that don't know, are familiar with the curse system, it's like he will it, he will put a curse modifier card into our modifier deck, and that's another miss. But it's it's removed after it's uh, drawn. At least. <laughs> so move three. Then range attack with the major power potion. Just use it right away. We attack these. Oh, that's good. Getting rid of the cultist. Wow! How did that happen? I didn't see the modifier. I wish there was. I wish there was a combat log so I could check afterwards what happened. But that might show up later. I hope it does. Okay, so now let's do a double attack. Let's do a disarm actually. That's really good Against this big guy And then we can do a attack um, Yeah, we can do that So let's disarm him Because he was gonna attack for four so <laughs> There's a crit though, so he's dead instead. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. I don't mind. And now let's do this pretty strong attack here. And we don't need to heal, so let's just move. Get ready for the next room, basically. He's gonna attack twice, so. Now let's see, now he can walk up there and do some strong attack like that one. She can do Yeah, she can do her okay, that's okay. So let's have him move up there. And attack for three. Minus one though. Let's see, he's going to move four and attack, so... Well, it's good to get him away from her so that she doesn't get disadvantage on her attack. Well, now no, he's gonna move before that, okay. He just came back. And attack, okay, that's minus two against the brute, that's good. Oh, now I need her to move again so that she's not next to him. And this is a bit of overkill, but anyhow. Well, not overkill in damage wise, but you know. And let's attack and move. And these two. He's going really quick here. Oh, it's healing. 
<laughs> I hate it when they heal. Okay, so she could basically just move and attack, I guess. Might even take this guy out with her little attack here. He does have an armor though, so... Oh, critting! <laughs> she killed him with her fist. That's cool. So... Now the question is, I guess we do these two so we can run in and stun. Whatever is in there. And she's going to short rest. And re... No! Wow, that was terrible. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, it's a gamble, but now we're gonna lose the reviving eater, so. <laughs> I think that was it for the. Wow. That's like losing the scenario right there. Wow, wow, wow. That's so terrible. Ah, oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> That's cool, Buster. I'm happy that you're watching. Uh, no matter how. Let's see. Let's have her move over there. Uh, okay, one big room. Okay. So if she goes like this, then she can attack both of them with this one here and the power potion. And that's a crit, nice. Let's have her go invisible as well. Okay, move and attack, so they're not gonna reach anyone. They're not gonna reach, oh nice, no effects at all in here. So do we want to stun now, I don't know, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um. Yeah, we could go there and stun both of those guys. That, that's that's actually good. Now we can do an attack. That's a crit. And we need a short rest. Hmm. I guess we do trample now. So this one and trample so he can go first. And she gets this is the, her last turn. <laughs> so let's see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do this one with the boots. So that he can go. Like there, 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 and there. He attacks everyone that he ran through. It's nice that he has to jump. And here we have a disarm as well. So we don't need to worry about that guy. They are going to move and heal. Oh, I, I should have watched that first. Now they're just going to heal themselves. But maybe she can kill them before that. She only has the normal attack, though. Uh, there's no point in summoning because he's just gonna die. Let's just hope that she can kill this one. There we go. Nice. So I think just focus on one at a time. Try to take them out. So like move. 
Um, yeah, we can do a double attack. Let's take one out at a time. And she actually, she gets one more. Oh, I thought she was done for, but she gets one more uh, action here. Nice. So she can move and attack. He's gonna summon. So okay, that's. Oh. I hate when they summon. That's a creep when we don't need it. Well, it's good that they're shooting at her. <laughs> Since she's gonna be de dead anyway because of the cards, right? I just wish they ha he hadn't done that. Oh, that's a seven. Wow. Ah, right, so these two. And she's actually gonna long rest so she can just stand there and perhaps take some damage. Uh, a little trick you can do. Just keep her around for one more round. And let's see, he's going to heal himself. I would like to take him out first of all, but I don't think we can. Well, we have them jump. But no, we can't. Yeah, we can, because we can run like this. And then do the move over there. No, he survives. Wow. <laughs> hey, Black Like Raider, that's cool. I'm gonna get it himself. Well, it's a fun game. And I enjoyed playing it off camera as well. Just uh, with some music in the background. That's sitting around just trying to figure stuff out. But it seems like I'm playing, I'm playing better when I play on streams. <laughs> Probably focus more or something. Okay, so she is going to die, sadly. And the brute has all these enemies to handle on its own. I don't know if it's gonna do it, but there is a small chance. And if he can pull it off, that would be so cool. Uh, let's redraw. I mean, he does have his major healing pot, so that that's gonna that's gonna come to use. Uh, let's do the. You can attack there and. Yeah, I can attack. Okay, yeah, this should work out. You can do the the attack there for this guy. And he's still alive. Minus one. Come on, game. Wow, how many times have that happened now? I have to spend so much, uh, so many actions just to take out one cultist. Uh, I don't think this is going to work out, to be honest. Now we get a plus one. <laughs> I mean, that summon is so annoying. That's a seven health skeleton. That's five damage to him. Oh. Oh, well. I guess we go for the archer. Kind of need the juggernaut. I'm gonna do a short rest because if we so if we get that, we could do a. But we need to, yeah. Okay, so we can move. At least we can move and attack. But I can I want to... Let's see, I want to... I thought I could push this guy maybe, but... Then we need to do that one. That's the only push we have left. And then we can move... There. 
then attack him. And yeah. Yeah, this is not gonna work out. So even if he hadn't done the summon, we're not gonna make it anyway. Because we are going to run out of cards. Actually now, yeah, let's just let's just take the damage because it's over anyway. Okay, so that didn't work out with the hard uh, hard mission. Oh. Now she lost her level as well. That's so weird, but. It, it's early access. Let, let's head to the east then. Come on. Uh, we have to do something. So. A counter. We can climb down here. We can make an offering. I think we're going to be blessed then. Uh, yeah, we've been blessed. Okay. It's kind of, it seems like I keep getting the same encounters over and over, which means I know what's going to happen. So they're not that exciting. We are closer to the boss, sort of, but we're still far away, so... But at least now I know which direction I'm heading in. Uh, earlier I, was, I didn't understand where to go to get there, so... So that's good. Um, okay, let, let's do the... Let's do the double attacks. If we do the this one and... Juggernaut, we can do two attacks in one round, that's good. And she can go and do her uh, fire orbs, as usual. He's going to summon. I don't think we can kill him though. Well, maybe. It is possible, because if we do the attack here, we use the... Um, oh yeah, we don't have the major anymore, we use the minor. Yeah, we're watching the landscape. We're taking the easier route, really. Um, so, then he can move attack. Then he has another attack. So, perhaps we can stop the summoning from happening. Oh, there's a crit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then he can move here instead. I'm so happy for that. It saves us so much trouble taking out the, the guy before he summons. Let's see, I think she can take this one out herself with a move and then a impaling eruption maybe. So he can just, you know, he can just walk over to the, the door, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Move attack poison, okay, that's not good. So she's going to move up here. And he, yeah, and then we attack here. And he's alive. Um, there's a trap up there, but that's not going to help. I'm just going to do this. We're just going to move. And do a attack three here. So there's the crit when we don't need it. <laughs> Always get the crit in the wrong time. When the when the enemy has one life left, that's when I get the crit. Uh, I'm whining, I know. Uh, let's see, she's going to move in here. With the icy blast, ride the wind. And just rush in and then she can go invisible if need be. And he's just gonna walk up here for now. And skip attack. So, let's open the door, see what's in there. Okay, so it's just one big room again. Um, well, she doesn't have a perfect target for the Icy Blast, sadly. But I guess somewhere here in the middle is a good. There's a chest over there. And then she can do this to these two. Uh, 
and then she disappears. Uh, yeah, if it works like the board game, then the crits reset the modifier deck. I guess it works the same way. And of course we get some lovely summons in here as well. Okay, so now we can stun a bunch of guys. Ah! The vase is in the way, otherwise we could have stunned the three of them. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's do trample. And that, with some armor and so on. <laughs> um, it's hard to drop the deck on, in the, on Steam though. Uh, okay, and I think she's going to summon now. Because there's so many enemies in here, so why not? So, we're using the boots. And we're gonna run all the way over there. And he's actually going to put the retaliation and shield on here. Because that guy is going to attack him twice, so... That will kill him. Yeah, it will actually... If everything goes as I think now... Two, both of these will die from the retaliation. So that's one attack, and then he takes two back, and then the second attack. Why didn't he do a second attack? No, he had target two. Okay, he would attack two different. Okay. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, they're shooting these fire arrows. So that means the skeleton died from the fire arrows. <laughs> uh, let's see. She is going to... I guess she's going to heal herself. And she can move... Have her move down here. See the leaping cleave, and now oh, now he can stun for uh, all three of these. I think, unless they move before he does, I'm not really sure in which or order they're going to do that because he's at 54, so they're probably going to move before that. But so, an attack and, and a summon, I guess and they are going to summon. Oh, we need to kill them before that. Let's summon here. And then attack. Nice. It's one skeleton <laughs> fewer. And now he can move. Look at this. This is perfect. He can move in here and stun all three of these. So great. And he can even do a leaping cleave to hit two of them. That's like perfect positioning there. That's not good. That's not okay. Killing the ally before she even gets to act. Okay, so double attack here. Oh, I messed up the cards again, didn't I? That's why the spell weaver died. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stupid! What? <sighs> she should have picked up her cards, I guess. I thought I counted it, but I don't know. Obviously not. So let's try to take this guy out here, let's see. So 
So, only two skeletons. I think the brute can handle this. So, attack and... Let's see, could he push him into some trap? No. You could disarm him though, but... Yeah, let's disarm him and... Start moving a little bit. Because he's going to attack one, okay. So he's disarmed. And let's move over here, so maybe we can lure him into the trap here, sort of. And then push him. Yeah, I don't like that the burn card icon is for some reason it's different here than in the board game. Like the uh, here is a I don't know here is a card burning, but if you look at one of these items, it has a card with an X on it. That's how it looked in the board game when you burn something. So for some reason it's different here, which is always annoying when they do that. I don't understand why they why they choose a different symbol. I mean, most of the people playing this have obviously played the board game beforehand, so. Let's heal him. And let's attack for six. Just get... No, wait, we can push him. No, no, let's attack for six. Just try to get rid of him. There we go. Because then we can move with this over here. There's only one enemy left anyway, so... And by going there, we put him in a disadvantage position. So that's perfect. As it says he has, to, you know, he can't. Well, he could have moved over there actually. Uh, short rest. So a double attack here. Uh, oh, uh, this might be enough actually. No, 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 not that one. We're gonna do the bottom attack here. That's my favorite card. I think the spare dagger, having attacks on both sides. And a ranged attack as well, so that's so good. Oh, he survives. Oh. You can push him, but that doesn't make any sense. It's better to stand next to him. Well, at least it looks like we're going to make this one. Uh, so this is our last turn, but as long as we don't miss, probably jinxed it by saying that, but do have two attacks here, so. Yeah, minus one, come on. Oh, critical, perfect. So uh, we, I want to move on the world map, that's the thing. I don't get stuck in this position. So let's see. Uh, we're going for the logging camp, right? Yeah, there's three scenarios. Wow, it's a long one. So let's go for the Den of Racers, maybe? Yeah, I just want to make some progress. Just feel like I'm heading in the right direction, at least. I do kind of like these bandits. They, I mean, they can hit, you know, for hard, but you sort of know what you what to get when you meet them. So we're gonna, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're gonna have him start there. She can start over there. We're going to start with the. Uh, trample and she can uh, yeah I kind of want to yeah she can do the icy blast so that's a lot of damage here in the first round so we do this one together with the boots so we can go one two three four five six attack all of them then do an extra attack on this guy with the storm as well. 
And that's a crit. Okay. Uh, the other two characters are the, I think it's the Cragheart and the, um, what's it called? Scoundrel, I think. Um, I do want to try playing with the, those as well. Um, but that's also a thing. I got a question today in a comment on one of the other live streams. Uh, because you can watch them afterwards, of course. And someone asked me if you cancel your campaign and... Uh, try out with some other characters do you lose the campaign and I don't know I, I don't want to try it because it's like no different this this you can't see different save files um, you can't see different save files so I, I don't I don't want to try that I'm, I'm scared to to start a new party because I, I don't know if that means that I can have multiple parties going I'm gonna have to look that up first before I try that so I don't ruin that for myself, that would be terrible. Um, yeah, the obstacle, exactly, this, the Cragheart, I think, he can like throw things. So he can remove stuff. Also, uh, you can get some items that can remove uh, obstacles. That, that's kind of nice, actually. Let's do that. And that. Because that's really handy. I don't know if it's different saves. That's the thing. And I don't really want to gamble to find out either. <laughs> I'm going to have to search the, like forums or something. Uh, and see if someone else have tried it and how it worked. Because it would be fun. Now I want to complete this one. But after that I'm definitely going to try with the other uh, characters. That, that's exciting. The thing is, I these two. I the reason I chose these two is because I have played them before. I played them in the uh, actual board game. Uh, that's how I started out. Draco was the brute, but um, so I never played the, the other two because you know you have you start off with characters in the board game and and then you as you keep going they uh, get retired when they do their life quests or life goals, and then they. Uh, uh, then you get other characters, which is the fun thing with this game. It's really weird. It's really different from... i never seen anything like it in, in RPGs. Uh, that, that you... Why? Wasn't there a wall there? So it's really cool that you change your characters. Which is it's also... At first it was kind of sad. Because you sort of like your character and all that. And then it retires. And <laughs> you start someone else. It's kind of weird. But uh, once you get sort of used to it... Then it's so it's just exciting to you know try the new ones, learn how they are played and all that. We're attacking like that with some power potion. Yeah, I know some people that played uh, Gloomhaven. They didn't, they didn't want to finish their character's life goal because they didn't want to sort of lose the character. But the thing is, um, he's in the doorway now, so I don't know how to do this. Could push him away, I guess. Yeah, I could do that. The weird, the, it's kind of weird in the board game though, because like you have your life goals and you know what they are. So like a character at, at sort of the middle of the game, um, of the campaign, I had a character that I really liked. I can't recall the name of it now, but anyhow. Uh, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to lose it, so I just did everything but like one of the requirements <laughs> for a while. Until I finally decided to, now I have to, I have to actually move on. I almost got him into the trap. <laughs> Not really. 
see what does he have. I have a Warhammer. Let's use that so we can stun him. She needs to heal as well. Um, I don't think I need to recover now. I don't remember, but can we see that somehow? Uh, no, we can't. I don't think I need to. I think I have more time. I think I have a little bit more time. Let's heal her. Let's move somewhere. Well, these two cards are gonna go in the discard. Uh, that's the thing, like if I have three cards left and I use them uh, and I burn them, the cards, then that's, that's why she dies because then all of a sudden I don't have a discard pile. But it should be okay now. Yeah, she has three cards in the discard pile so I can short rest. And I can't lose that one though, so I have to redraw. <laughs> and now I can do this and, and now she can pick up the coach. But it's a bit tricky to play her. Okay, now I can push this guy actually. So attack. Oh, he actually, and then he dies. It's always like that. When I, can, <laughs> when I can't push them, they just die. Okay, but I can stun these guys. That's gonna be nice. Wow, five damage. Well, he can take it, but... Okay, so picking up the cards. And moving. And he has the short rest here. And there's a lot of options here. Let's see, he has his... Leaping Klee would... No, it's not going to be nice now because they are in the wrong positions. So I guess we just do the double attack. And now she could do her Icy Blast now. And the cool thing is, like, when she levels up to the highest level, I think it's level 9, she gets another card so that she can return cards. So she can do that bouncing thingy and do it twice. That's really nice. There's a crit. And let's disarm this one. And now she needs to move a little bit. Get in a good position for this. So we're doing good. Um, it's almost too easy right now, but I'm not gonna complain because it's it's so hard at times. Move there. And that's it. Yeah, so she can just move and pick up. Uh, is there a chest in here? No, we already. We already yeah, okay. I think we already taken the chest. Can't recall. Uh, skip attack. Just take that gold. Okay. So one more uh, adventure, then we're done with the journey. Den of Racers or Forgotten Tunnels. I'm just gonna go for the easier one here. Um, oh no, that wasn't a door. It's like it. Sometimes it looks kind of like a door, but it's. Some kind of uh, barred thing.
And it's kind of weird because you see the meter here, so you know sort of if you're in the last room. It's only, you know, if it's high up there, then you know that you're close to the end. So let's do it like this. And we start, we're going to start the same way, basically. I think that's a good way to start off. Uh, no, the, yeah, let's do the fire orbs. So moving with the boots. Through all these guys. Ending on the treasure chest actually. And then a disarm. I love those disarms and stuns and all that. That's just so nice. 17 gold and a minor healing potion. Okay. So let's have her move. There's one space here so she sh can get in range for this. Get the power potion. Wait, that guy's the sword. No! No, I misclicked. Oh, that's so terrible. I double clicked. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm such a noob. Oh, I could hit three guys and I accidentally <laughs> double clicked. You can't go back. Oh. I kind of wish you could go back, but at the same time, that would be annoying because then people would just do that all the time, right? As soon as they got a bad result, they would just go rewind. Oh, well. What can you do? <laughs> ah, terrible of me. Okay, let's do that. And now let's do the Icy Blast then, okay. I even used the potion for that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that guy was really dead. Okay, so let's go up to the Orc. No, not the... Okay, I'm getting... T okay, I'm... I am need to... I need to do this slower. Because right now I stepped through a trap for no reason at all. Because I'm clicking too fast. So, slowly, that one, boost it, put it on these two guys, and confirm. Oh, come on. Why can't I... Okay, there we go. Confirm targets. I can't double click for some reason when I do that one. And let's move up there. Okay. Wow, three damage even though he was in disadvantage. That's terrible. Okay, so we just need something to smash him with. Um, let's just do a six attack. Just get it over with. And at the same time, she will uh, run into this other room and go invisible. Um, you tend to sort of get into a loop when you play, so you just do the same thing <laughs> over and over. That works. Which I guess is not that bad. I mean, it's, as long as it works. And once again, it's only one room here. I think I don't think there's any. Oh, there's no no doors in here. So and now she's jumping, so I don't need to care about the trap. Now she will attack these two. Nice. And invisible. Okay. Let's have him move and move and attack. So let's see, I think he's going to move and attack.
Oh, that's a crit. And he's also going to heal. And heal again. Now he can move with the jump up here. There's a bunch of traps here, so maybe we can push someone later on here. And I think if she goes, yeah, she can summon. I think she can summon as long as she doesn't, you know, she can just skip attack here. He's gonna do, there he can push. And yeah, she has three cards in the discord, so it's okay. Burn that. Now she needs to pick up the cards. It comes quicker when you have the uh, summon out as well because she takes up sort of that that card is is occupied. So you gotta be careful of that as well. No, she wasn't jumping. Wow, that was stupid. She has her boots. She could have been jumping there. Uh, yeah, okay. So. Oh, she found a Hawk Helm. That adds range to the attack action. That's good. I uh, have to remember to equip that later on. That could really come in handy. So. Let's use this shield. And attack for five. And he has the Hawk Helm uh, for some reason. He shouldn't have it. She should have it, I guess. Uh, we'll fix that when we get to the world map again. He has one since earlier. Because she had one earlier and then... Oh, wow. Okay, we have to burn a card. Yeah, she had. Uh, they both had earlier, and then her bro her uh, helmet broke. And I realized now that I haven't switched it over. She should have it since, since she's doing ranged attack all the time. <laughs> okay, so short rest. Can burn that. Now let's do the these two. I don't know. Well, she could do this and then heal, I guess. That's, that's pretty good. I do want her to survive if possible, so... And let's have him go... Because that uh, ally is going to hit the this archer as well. What? Oh. I <laughs> throwing out a trap there. Oh, a crit, nice. Good job, ally. Okay, so now there's a trap on the floor. That's annoying. Otherwise, she could have gone there but you know what she can go there anyway no it's a three damage trap okay she dies if she goes there <laughs> let's just do this one then there we go it's over so then she can yeah she can just skip action really well she could have gone and gotten the goal there I guess but Okay, well now we we're making progress on the world map, which I'm happy about. So we are going to the logging camp. This is sort of the way we came from to start with. So 24 XP and the Wand of Darkness. Oh, Warhammer is good with a stun. Nice, and we do lose durability. 
Now we can do some shopping here. Uh, sold out. Okay, but he has a wand of during your turn create fire. Oh, that's good. Ancient drill. During your melee attack, at plus two and pierce to the entire attack. Oh, this is perfect for the for the uh, brute, so he can get some pierce. And we do want her to have this. Okay, now, so let's see. He's going to instead of his warhammer, he's going to have the ancient drill. That's plus two attack and pierce two. That's really good against those nasty enemies that has a lot of armor. And let's see, his boots, and he should have two items, a major healing and scroll of healing. And she should have the hawk helm, and her cloak of course, and she'd have the wand of infernos for fire, that's good. And no boots sadly, and she has her power potions, okay. Because the thing is, uh, let's see, doesn't she have... Right now she doesn't have anything that needs fire. But she does have, like this card can use fire. So now, since she can do fire now, I think we're gonna equip this flame strike again. It's the only range 2, but it adds wound as well, really good against strong, big strong enemies. And she does, that also gives her attack 2 on the bottom action, which is awesome. I think we're gonna remove. I think we're gonna remove this one. It is pretty good, but she has such. She has so many cards that are movement already. Well, actually, she just leveled up. So let's see what she can get more here. Cold fire. Oh, here's something that needs fire. Cold fire. That's plus two attack. It's only one attack, but if she has fire, that's plus two. But it's loot. I don't want loot. Ah. Uh, Let's take Crackling Air again. Um, so she could use Crackling Air instead of Flash. Yeah, she could replace this for that. It's so hard for her, like this on your next four attacks, add plus one attack, that's good. The problem is that that card is stuck there for four rounds then, or four attacks. And you know, she has trouble with her card. So uh, let's just go with the Flashing Burst there. Now let's see what he gets, this is exciting. Brute Force. Oh, this one. I love this one. I remember this, this one a lot. Skirmishing maneuver. You can attack, move, attack. And here you have attack on the bottom with range. This is so good. Uh, this is good as well with the attack 8. The problem is that it's burning the card and it's loot, which is uh, kind of sucks. I don't need that gold. So let's do this one and let's see. What do we remove then? This is so good. This is, I love this card. Um, well, not, we want to keep Trample. I, I want to keep Disarm. Uh, even though the bottom there is not that great. It's just taunting so that they attack him instead of her. But having Disarm can really be a lifesaver. This is good for the push there. <laughs> this is good for the push. Uh, this is kind of good with the stun. But then again, he can stun... I want that one for the move with the jump, and this is good. Yeah, I think I think we remove shield bash, and we do skirmishing maneuver instead. Okay, so that's good. They're level five now, but that also means that now the enemies are level three. Now this is an issue. Uh, we can't move anymore. Yeah, it's, it gets burned. The strong one gets burned. That's the thing. The th problem now is we can't move this direction. Look at this. This is where we need to go. There's no option for that. Over here. Uh, maybe we need to go to the Wild Spire. I think we came like over here. So I guess we go to the Wild Spire next. But that's going to be the next stream. Uh, because I am going to end it here. We are close to two hours and YouTube only uh, allows two hours if you want to save the file for later. I do want people to be able to watch this later on as well. So, And I need to go to bed as well. It's, it's getting really late here. So thank you so much to all you guys in the chat. It's been great having you here and you helped me out and all that. And thank you for watching. And if you're watching this afterwards, uh, have a great evening or morning. Whenever you're watching, take care. Bye-bye.